Let's talk about pricing strategies for selling your house in California during this real estate market shift. As soon as you're ready to begin the process of selling your house in California, the media declares a real estate market shift, including the issue that we are currently experiencing an increase in interest rates. And when this happens, it's as if the entire real estate market gets affected. Because of the media focusing on the real estate market shift, we have fearful and pickier buyers and even fewer buyers feeling comfortable choosing to get into the real estate market. And many buyers claim that if they can't get a good deal, then they'll just wait to become homeowners of a house in California. All this results in a cooling market. These cautious buyers are willing to let reasonable deals pass them by if they don't get a good deal. Naturally, the San Diego home buyers are concerned about paying too much for your house, and this results in only properly prepared and properly priced for the condition of the home to get serious attention. San Diego sellers who are slow to recognize this real estate market shift will unfortunately quickly become the overpriced and overlooked properties. Hi, I'm Kim Ward. I am a certified probate real estate advisor. I have been helping executors, administrators, and trustees for almost 20 years with homes in probate or trust administration in beautiful San Diego. If you've been watching my videos and you're finding them of value, please hit that like button to tell the YouTube algorithm that this is good content. Subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my upcoming videos every week. So let's continue. Now, this isn't surgery. When a real estate market shifts, buyers and sellers begin to play a game of the price is right. Instead of guessing where the top is, home buyers are now trying to predict where the bottom of the real estate market might be. When selling your house in California, the previous real estate market was a strong seller's market. Now we're moving closer to a balanced real estate market and when buyers previously were aggressively pushing prices upward because of the real estate market shift and the interest rate increases, buyers are now doing the opposite. They are aggressively trying to get homes for less than the list price and ultimately they're pushing the prices down. When Ralph and I first met, he's an executor, his grandfather had passed away. The price of the property was around $700,000. And that was during the tail end of our strong sellers real estate market. By the time some issues that had come up having to do with the probate courts, by the time we got through those, which was a good, I'd say 60, maybe 75 days later, the price was now $600,000 that would cause the property to sell. This was a very big fixer property in the El Cajon area and you know it needed a lot of work and the only people that really were going to be interested in it were investors because of the condition of it. So what happened was of course Ralph wasn't thrilled, neither was I, but Ralph agreed based on the conversation we had and the data that we reviewed that the lower price was what would cause the property to sell. And after a few weeks on the market and receiving offers at various prices, we ended up selling the property at $605,000 to a cash investor. And Ralph was relieved that he no longer had the responsibility of the home. Now, even during this real estate market shift, there are people who honestly want to buy and sell in the current real estate market. And that's where pricing strategies when you're selling a house in California, that becomes critical. The desire to do business hasn't gone away, but the heat is now out of the real estate market. Don't get me wrong, by using the right pricing strategies when selling your house in California, we can get the house in a situation where it appeals to the motivated few buyers that want to buy in the current real estate market. The current real estate market shift 
Well, it magnifies the issue of the asking price the seller wants versus the price a buyer is willing to pay. Initially, Executor Bob's pricing strategies when selling his brother's home in San Diego was to consider the sold prices from six months ago. Bob was not considering that because of the real estate market shift, we are no longer in a strong seller's market. Yes, we still have a limited supply of homes available and we explained to Bob that selling your house in the current real estate market is much different than six months ago. We talked in depth about how the power is now moving in favor of the buyer and that we are in a race against time. Because Bob really wanted to sell his brother's house in San Diego, California, we explained that we needed to use pricing strategies that would get qualified buyers in the front door of his brother's home. Bob agreed to the pricing strategies that we recommended and within a few weeks of being actively on the real estate market, an offer came in. After some back and forth negotiating, we landed on a price and terms that Bob could accept. Bob knew that the best price that he was going to get is the one he had right then. And with the real estate market shift, Bob didn't want to wait and possibly get an even lower price for his brother's home. In the seller's market that we experienced in 2020 through the better part of 2022, the power of pricing favored the seller and the buyer's need to compete for the real estate market limited supply. Now let's talk about pricing strategies during a real estate market shift and selling a house in California. The real estate market shift means that buyers are now in a bit more of a power position and that sellers will compete to attract the limited supply of buyers. And now our goal is to help our seller clients to use pricing strategies to get them the best price and best terms as much as possible. And that's not always easy. When we're helping our clients with selling an estate home, we explain that there is a window of opportunity. We talk about pricing strategies that refer to the real estate market phenomenon of when a home first comes on the market, it attracts the attention of real estate agents who are currently working with motivated buyers. If the property is poorly priced, obviously it will be overlooked. That's why we dive deep into the best pricing strategies when selling a house in California. The first time someone sees that you're selling your house is what we call that window of opportunity. This is the best time in a real estate market shift to tell the home buyers that we're priced right and serious about selling the house here in California. The other side is that if when selling your house, and sometimes people want to use pricing strategies that they believe the house should be priced above market value so that there is room to negotiate. Yes, this happens all the time. And the result is typically that the seller misses out on the window of opportunity. And also because we are in a real estate market shift, chances are even when adjusting the price, and I mean down, a seller could experience when selling your house, having to adjust the price lower than the price was in the window of opportunity at the beginning. So you can see that making the wrong impression will ultimately cost you and the estate time and money. All of these pricing strategies, especially in a real estate market shift, shares why you don't want to chase the real estate market. You want to let the market chase you. Thank you for watching. Again, if you find this of value, let that YouTube algorithm know and I'll see you next week.